Good morning runners. It is currently Thursday the 16th of July and it is five past ten and today I'm going to be taking you through what I take with me on a long run. So to start with I don't really take too much with me when I do a long run mainly because I don't run that far so I tend to just I do take a rucksack with me most of the time mainly it's just easier to carry stuff I find that if I have like a little waistband on it normally like chafes or I kind of like get a big red mark around my waist which I don't really love that much so I just find the backpack is the easiest way and then I don't load up too much because I find that it then just makes my shoulders ache which isn't really that good for like when you're running along you'll find like one all gets sore before the other so I prefer just kind of keeping it light not taking too much stuff and just dealing with what I do have I class my long runs to be like anything over 10k I mean that doesn't sound very long it's kind of what I found is what I class as long really. I don't, the max I kind of do is a half marathon. I don't go too much longer than that just because I don't want to, <laughs> which is fine. Everyone has their own distance and things like that. So if I'm doing about 12K, I'll normally take my rucksack. I might not take all of these things with me, but I'll take quite a few of them. So let's get into it. So to start with, this is the rucksack that I usually take with me. It's a Solomon one. It is 12 litres, which quite honestly is probably quite big. I don't need one this big. What I bought and there's no point buying a new one until this one's completely broke. So it has quite a lot of like breathable bits on the back. You've got two clips at the front, which you can change where they are. There's about four different levels that you can have it at and I find that these two are the best for me they kind of like hold me here and about here and that works it keeps it so it doesn't move that much I do have to pull these straps in really tight though I don't know if anybody else finds that but I just find that it's just too loose if they're not pulled all the way and I do like things not moving around while I'm running I don't know what it is just like that jumpy bouncy thing it just doesn't sit right with me so I pull those in quite nice and tightly it's got two little kind of like bottles at the front and it came with the two bottles which you'll see a little bit later on one of them there's a little hook at the front to kind of keep your bottle in place it took me a while to realize that this little tab here is honestly just there for you to help get that off when your bottle's in, you need to move that tab all the way to the other side so it's not even touching the bottle. This bag also has two little pockets at the back so you can just reach in behind you and grab them if you've got anything stored in them. You can adjust the, the height of the main strap. Again, I pulled it in all the way. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because I'm small. I just have to pull everything super tightly. Um, at the back here, there's a big mesh thing. When I don't have much stuff in it, I pull this really, really tightly um, just to try and keep all the stuff inside from not jumping around. Because again, I don't love that. <laughs> inside it is simply just one big pocket. You can open it pretty much all the way, like a big suitcase. Shove it all in there. And then there's also a little pocket on the top here which is usually where I put important things that I don't want jingle jangling around at the bottom. So that will have my keys, my phone, sometimes a little bit of food as well. All right, that's backpack done. Now to move on. The next biggest item that I usually bring with me is my raincoat. So this is honestly just the cheapest one from Decathlon and actually it's fine to run in. I find the hood still just falls off. Um, and yeah, I love it. It's got all these little reflective dots on it. So if it is nighttime while you're running, everyone can see. It's got breathable pockets on the armpits and bits like that. It does also have two tiny little pockets, very tiny little pockets 
um, on either side of the front. So that's useful if you've got anything small, maybe if you're not going running with a backpack, this is good for you too. It's nice and thin, lightweight, I can scrunch it all the way up and that just goes into my running bag and packs away. So, that along with these two things are basically the main mass that's in my bag. So this is just a little towel. So if I ever get, if I'm ever doing a long run to somewhere, I can just wash off my face, like dry it off. But this wouldn't be much useful in the rain if I didn't have this. So this is a little bag. And it's just a dry bag. So you just shovel your stuff inside, you roll it up, press out all the air. If you don't do that, it's going to stay massive. And then hook it up, and then your stuff stays dry. So that's a great, like a nice thing to put any clean clothes, anything that you need for after a run in, but you still want to run with. And they won't get sweaty or wet from the rain, bits of bobs like that. So that's useful. All right, small things. So tiny, tiny things that I bring with me. Uh, obviously my keys. I usually also put a little hairband around them, put them together, just to again, stop the annoying little like uh, banging that they make when they're next to each other. I slip that into the top pocket of my bag. So then right at the end of the run, I don't have to fumble around everywhere trying to find it. I know it's in the top pocket and that's where I go. Then always bring my phone. I don't, know. I don't need it, but it's just, it plays the music. It connects to my headphones, which we'll see in a little bit. So it's useful. Also, I can do a, like a live track, set my Garmin up so that people will be sent an email and they know where I am, so they can check where I am at certain times in the run. And that works through 3G or 4G, maybe even 5G where you are. And that will just send it over the internet where I am as long as I've got GPS. So if I'm in a bad spot, signal spot, it, will, it won't update that frequently. But yeah, so that's useful if you're going a long, long distance and it might be dangerous. Then this is just a little raincoat for my phone. So I just slip that on if it's super, super rainy and I'm worried that my phone will get damaged. That just slips on. I've never had a problem with it. Obviously, it gets hard to use the touch screen um, with the case on, but it still works pretty fine. But also good for pockets when it's raining and you don't want it to get sweaty. If that goes on, slips nice and easily. It's fine, perfect. You can still use the buttons, you can still use the touch screen, and you can still see the screen. <laughs> so that's great. Next bit of tech then is my headphones. You've probably seen them in videos before. Aftershocks, that's about it. They're bone conducting, they slip over your ears and they just kind of vibrate your bone and then you can hear it. It just leaves your ears open so you can hear the traffic. Super useful now I'm living in Bristol and there's quite a lot of traffic. <laughs> Great for when I'm running. You, I don't notice the quality difference now that I've used these for about I would say probably about a year now. Um, they also have like a microphone in it, so if you ever get a call, you can take that call while you're on it. You can pause the music, you can play the music, you can turn it up and down by just like clicking a button. They charge through a little micro USB. I normally charge them the night before, then they're ready to go. And yeah, I got them in green because I just like the colour green. <laughs> Following on, I probably should have done this straight after the phone. If I'm not carrying the big rucksack with me on a long run, or actually a run in general, and I don't have leggings on that have a pocket that's big enough for my phone, that was quite a lot of like little snippets there, I use this. And this is just a little running armband. You've probably seen so many of them. You slip it onto your arm, Velcro it up, and then you put, I put my phone on it. Inside of it is a slightly different material. I would say almost like a wetsuit, sorry. Um, and it just chafes ever so slightly here sometimes. 
I don't know, maybe I just need to use some kind of like cream or something just to stop that happening. But I find that when it's a really, really sweaty run, this isn't that great. And obviously I'm more likely to use this in the summer when it's hot. So it just kind of compounds on itself that this isn't the greatest that you can get. But I love it because it fits with everything else I've got. My phone case, my bike handlebars. So I've got the set now. <laughs> So the next kind of clothing item slash accessory is a hat. I've got two that I would take with me and it just depends what mood I'm in. So I've got this Ben Parks hat which I really like. Um, it doesn't look that great on me, I will admit. I look back at photos and I'm like, meh, still not quite working for me. But it's just really nice and I like it, I like supporting other runners as well. It's got a little tab here which you can tighten around and you can obviously make it looser if you need to. I just find it fits really nicely on my head. It doesn't move anywhere because I pull it nice and tight. And the little hole means I could put my ponytail through it without worrying about the band falling out or things like that. And the other hat that I wear is this kind of half hat visor type situation from, again, Decathlon. I've got it in black because it goes with everything and it's just it's a slightly smaller visor which is good also it's just a hat isn't it there's not much i can say about it it's smooth kind of well material on the inside to like keep the sweat off of your face the one reason why i love hats so much is because when it's raining the rain doesn't get in your eyes as long as it's not horizontal rain <laughs> it doesn't stop that i'm afraid but it stops all the rain that would happen that's coming down from your head. So it's great. I wear these pretty much whenever it's raining, even if I'm running or not. So definitely one to get if you want to go out in all weathers. Moving on to the big category now. So nutrition. What do I bring to eat while I'm running those longer distances? Um, obviously, this is really, really personal to everyone's kind of taste and what they like what goes well in their digestive system but these are a few things that i've found work slash are just all around good for running and carrying with me so let's run through them so gels are pretty much everyone's go-to but I personally just don't find that they work. I've never really found one that I'm comfortable using while I'm running. So far of the gels I've, I've used, Sis has been my favourite. It's slightly kind of like more watery, so it's easier to like slurp down, but it also just kind of dissolves in your mouth so it feels like you're actually having it as opposed to just drinking it. Um, and yeah. It's not too much, it has, you can get them in different formulas, so they can have caffeine, they can have electrolytes. I, we tend to just get the isotonic ones, so they have the salts and bits and pieces to replenish everything you've lost while you're running. And yeah, we use lemon lime, also used orange, had a few raspberry ones as well. Um, we have loads of the lemon and mint ones, but I don't like them that much. If these are basically a super super backup, so I don't plan on using them, but I have one tucked away in my bag just in case I do need something extra just to get me home or things like that. While I was on the topic of electrolytes and bits and pieces, I've got Kendall mint cake as well. So this is like a little bar it's a really minty bar honestly i didn't hear about i hadn't heard about it before january and i went and tried a bit and it is actually really good so it's a bar like this it, they're really big so then they're usually the whole packet and you just break it up into little pieces you eat a bit it dissolves on your tongue pretty much and it's really minty, you can get, I think they have a chocolate mint flavour as well, but I preferred the plain mint flavour. 
and yeah that's about all I can say about it I do find them sometimes a little bit hard to eat while I'm out on the run and I have found if they're near you or close to your body while you're running they will melt so I don't know if you can see this but that's kind of the normal thickness and then that's what this side has kind of ended up being just a kind of met messy minty mess and that is literally just from being stuck in the pocket the back pocket of my rucksack while i've been running so not the best snack to have close to you and also the whole bar is just so big so if i do run with this i do take like a little snip of it put that in like a bag or a jug a jar and have that with me so that I can just have a little bit. You don't need much of it. The other snack I bring with me, and this is a really, really brand new snack, but after doing the Race of the Stones challenge, I found that I really liked it and it was really easy to eat while I was running. And it just made a world of difference. I actually enjoyed my long run. And that is the definite change. And this is actually just homemade little jelly. Um, I followed a recipe that I found from Brooks Running. It's a really, really old recipe. And it's literally just, a, I think it's like a cup of juice and some gelatin. So there isn't much to this. Like it's not that nutritious. It's not that good for you. Well, it's kind of good for you. It is 100% juice. I've made this in cherry flavour. So they're all made from cherry juice, they smell great, they don't, I would say they last about a week in the fridge, um, so it makes loads while you make up a batch. I've kept them in a little pot in my fridge and then when I'm running I put them in this jug, <laughs> says chipotle paste, it is not, <laughs> I put them in here and then they go into the broken one of my two water bottle holders and they just sit there and then when I want them I take them out, open it and then shove them onto my hand, eat them up and it's done. And it's honestly just because I want to start decreasing the amount of like plastic I'm using so this is an old jar, works perfectly, doesn't move up and down while I'm running which is what I thought it would do and it's absolutely fine. Big little um, opening, so if I need to, I can reach in, grab something, and yeah, really enjoyed using my little homemade jellies. Made every, the world of difference to my long runs. So these are the two water bottles that I use. They're just 500 grams, a little hydro pack, soft flask that came with the bag. They have a little kind of like bite thing, so you use kind of bite it and then the water comes out on me I sometimes I do have to squeeze to get the liquid out I think there's quite a few other brands out there that do slightly better soft flasks um, but these haven't broken yet so there's no reason for me to go out and buy a new one I did get one that is slightly smaller as well I think that one is actually from Run Runderwear um, yeah, I, got, I think I got that at the National Running Show. And that was literally just because I wanted something to run with and hold in my hand while I was doing a half marathon. And that worked well, but it got hot really quickly. So I ended up with like warm water in my hand, which isn't that much of a great thing while you're running. Um, and then the last couple of items that I've got on in my bag are kind of temperature or season related so if it's really cold i'll wear these gloves and these are just e-gloves i got them at the national running show and i had to get these in like extra small or something but they are the only gloves i've ever found that actually fit um they do claim that you can still use your phone and your tablets any touch screen with the two first first digits um, but I'm not going to back up that claim too much. They don't work that well. The the little top always spins, so it's always in your way. You've always got the seam there, so 
yeah, if you want them for touchscreen capability, these are not the ones. But these are just really nice lightweight gloves. I, I always find that after a couple of kilometres, my hands get really warm anyway. So it's just that initial freezing cold feeling that I have in my hands. And then maybe if it's super, super cold, I'll just keep them on. Um, but I've never found a use for thicker gloves, like thin gloves all the way for me. And yeah. So then, again, got them in like a bluey green, because going for a theme here, we've got black, we've got green, and that's about it. And then, head torch. So this is useful in the winter again, when it's super, super dark, or you're running at night. I've got this Petzl one, which is fine. It's fairly lightweight. It has a few different modes on it, so... You can have a wide view, you can have a slightly narrow view, like a duller view. You can also go into a red view as well um, for your night vision. And yeah, it's useful. It's also got a little whistle on it. So should you be out in the wilderness and everything's dying, you can use a whistle to try and get someone to help you. Um, I find they always slip down and I've not found anything to stop that. So maybe you know what to do with a head torch that keeps slipping. I know there's ones that have the extra one that would work really well, but because I've got this one, I don't I don't want to splurge on one that's got just another piece of elastic basically. And yeah, that's that one. It be it is a little bit more lightweight than what you would find in the cheaper one, so that stops it slipping too quickly. But at the end of the day, it does slip, and I sometimes use a buff to try and stop that happening, but it's not perfect. And yeah, that's where I'm at with long runs. So that's everything I usually put inside of my running bag when I'm running. Uh, I try to keep it fairly light, so most of that is literally just the coat and then the other things I have on me while I'm running. Um, yeah, that's it. I also sometimes bring what you're watching me on and that is the GoPro and honestly that's because I just like taking pictures and it's got a really good camera on it for stills especially ones while you're running because you can do like a burst mode on it and that just makes every single picture super super clear so yeah what is in your running bag while you're doing a long run let everyone know down in the comments and I will see you next time if you're out for a run today, you should have fun.